Hello, I'm Retro Jules, and welcome to World of Tanks, and welcome to part two of the Motherland weak spots. We've already covered in part one the Motherland versus itself, and versus the T-54E1, a tier nine medium, and we also put it up against the Tiger, the tier seven heavy. And thank you to Shallymash, who very kindly pointed out that actually in the video, I was shooting high explosive shells instead of armor penetrating and I didn't even notice till he mentioned it which was a mistake and it didn't really portray the tiger in its true colors against the motherland so in this video I want to show you the motherland up against the tier 7 tiger we're also going to put it up against the M41 Walker Bulldog and thank you very much to my Polish friend Flame who's saying that this tank is always thrown into tier 9 and tier 10 battles we're going to put it up against the tier 9 French AMX 50 120 at a distance just to show you that it will still get completely annihilated with this premium tank you don't get preferential tiering so you can go right up to tier 10 and often it does so the strengths of this tank are the front armor plate up until tier 8 after that it's not that strong the lower glacis is incredibly soft the sides and the rear of this tank are very soft too pretty much the case with most tanks but frontally the mantlet is very strong the cheeks are very very effective at deflecting shots and if you face this front on really the only thing you can do to take this tank out is to shoot its lower glacis or shoot the commander's cupola on the right hand side as you look at it. Also when you look at this tank and it's facing left the exhaust port is a very effective target to hit because you can take out the engine too. So let's show you the three videos. So it's time for the Tiger to redeem itself and this time we are carrying armour penetrating ammunition with a penetration of 203 against the front plate of the motherland which is 120 millimeters thick. So Wicker75 has very kindly volunteered to have his motherland, his new shiny premium tank annihilated yet again and do bear in mind that we are showing you static targets here normally you'd be hiding moving and shuffling around on the battlefield but this is just to give you an idea of what happens when you go up against these tanks so we're going to we're going to start this at 100 meters which would be unwise against the tiger but we're going to do that anyway just to guarantee our accuracy So an upper plate shot, straight in, no problem, lower glacis, not a problem, even though that went a little bit high and actually hit the beak I think. Mantlet shot, straight in, no problem, aim for the cheeks, bounce, we'll try that again. bounce so the cheeks are very very effective we know the cupola will go straight in so we're going to put a 45 degree angle on the tank now and we get a bounce off that front plate and that one goes in so not sure the difference between those two shots and we know it'll go in on the lower glacis on this and if we just move the reticle around the side of the tank absolutely every single shot is going to penetrate this tank without a problem so what we'll do now is we'll put some distance between ourselves we'll double the distance to 200 meters just to see what difference that makes and this will just show you that if you come up against tier 7 heavies distance is definitely your friend so a straight shot on the upper glacis at 200 meters hurrah and it bounces 
and the second shot bounces too. So that extra 100 meters makes that front plate very effective. Now we're going to try an angled shot on the lower glacis. That goes in, no problem whatsoever. And we're going to aim for the cheeks, even at an angle. Bearing in mind that the turret would normally be facing you, but that's still bounced. And the same shot went in. We did it. We won. So here we are in the Walker Bulldog. And with the Walker Bulldog, the Tier 7 American Light, we've got a penetration of 175 and a damage of 150. And I've started this video slightly further in because we were having a real problem with these dust devils, these dust storms that were swishing around. And they were spoiling the quality of the video. So we're just going to set up our distance of 100 meters. Again, that's quite close and they're sitting targets, but just to give you an idea of the different guns. So, upper glacis, bounce. Lower glacis, straight in. Mantlet shot. Not a chance. Cheeks. Absolutely no chance. Commander's Capola. Straight in, and do remember it's on the right hand side as you look at the tank, not the left. Oh, there's that dust storm, that's so just going to get in a bit closer on this one. So, angled upper plate, no chance. Angled lower plate. No, we can't get penetration when that's angled. Side shots are going to be no problem whatsoever. So this is the side that's got the exhaust port on it. Looks like that one went right through. Just there. Load it up. Press. Back of the turret. That one did some damage. And we take out his ammo rack. and anything in the back is going to be fine. So as you can see with the Walker Bulldog against the Motherland, if the Motherland is angled and you're facing the front, you're, you're going to have quite a lot of problems. So, But then, this is what you do in a Walker Bulldog. You just go whizzing around, putting shots in. Although I can't help thinking that the M41 Bulldog has lost its edge a little bit since it was nerfed in the last update. And finally, we're on to the AMX 50 the Tier 9 French Heavy. And it goes without saying, we actually did a video of this at 100 metres and it completely annihilated the motherland wherever you hit it. So we're not going to show you that. We're going to kind of show you what would happen in a sort of more realistic gameplay. So we're going to be playing down the number 3 line. And Wickers is going to come along in his motherland and sort of hide behind some rubble and kind of play the tank as you normally would and you will see that it still doesn't stand a chance. So at tier 9 and tier 10 you're going to have to be a good tanker and not get hit. So there he is. So we're aiming, <laughs> aiming for the rock hard turret and it goes in no problem. And he's just out of my view range, so I keep having to get into fire and move to appear because our view range is 390 meters in this tank. And with his hit, with his camo rating, he keeps disappearing. So that was just a shot in the side, no problem. Come on, Wickers, where are you? There he is. So he's angled his front glacis, doesn't matter, straight in. 
Can't see you, mate. There he is. And then we're going to go for another turret shot. And there you go. So, you can't utilise your armour when you're up against the big heavies. So there we have it. That's the motherland going up against a variety of different tiered tanks to give you some idea of what will happen when you meet them. Please bear in mind that most of the time we're a static target, we're not moving, we're not trying to hide and we did stick pretty much at 100 meters and you did see with the Tiger video, as soon as you double that distance, suddenly your front glacis that could be easily penetrated could no longer be penetrated. So it can be in a very effective tank if you keep it at a distance from the big monsters. I hope you found this video useful and when I've played this tank a little bit more and got to grips with it, I'll um, happily do a review for you.